Hello everyone, it's Janelle and today's video is a Halloween nail art video. The colors I use for this look are white, pink, orange, and purple. To make the gradient, I use some latex-free makeup sponges that I bought from Walgreens, a black and a black striper for the silhouettes, and yellow and a dotting tool for the moon, and a base and top coat. And guess what? I'm not using Sesh Feet today. Before applying your nail polish, apply some base coat first. To make a jack-o'-lantern nail, I painted my thumb orange. With the black striper, I made two triangles for eyes and then filled them in. For the mouth, I added a curved line for the smile. And then I added short strokes for stitches. Short strokes for stitches. And a little triangle nose. First, let's apply some white so that the color pops. To protect my skin from the polish, I added latex as always. I then applied purple, pink, and orange to the sponge and then dabbed it on the white. For the index finger, I'm using my black polish to add some small hills on the bottom of the tip. With the black striper, I added a thin tree trunk and splayed out branches for my haunted tree. Hmm, let's make the bottom of the trunk thicker so it looks more natural, not like a palm tree. I then added some cross tombstones with two lines each. For the middle finger, take your black nail polish and add two downward strokes for the haunted house buildings. Then add lines with striping polish to create slanted rooftops. Next, take a toothpick or dotting tool dipped in white and add a few dots so that light is peeking through the windows. I then added a dot of yellow to make the moon in the sky. Then to make it a crescent moon shape, I overlap the part of the moon with a dot of purple so that the sky blends in. For the ring finger, I added an overlay of spiderweb, starting off with diagonal lines across the nail. Connect the straight lines with curved lines to finish up the spiderweb pattern. Next up, the pinky nail is getting a little bat, so make two curved lines, almost like you're making a seagull. Then add a V shape to represent the little bat's ears. Hmm, okay, let's flesh out the wings underneath to make them a little bit thicker. And it looked too much like a bird, so I added a little more weight to the body like so. Now just add top coat to seal your design. What if I want a different look? Here's our original color palette. Kind of Halloween-y, a little bit girly too. Of course, the perfect Halloween greeting that comes to mind is candy corn. Try white, orange, yellow, black, and some festive glitter. Or try a bewitching gradient. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> see what I did there? with black and maybe a nice purple glitter. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hey, did, did they click like? If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. We have no thumbs. <laughs> please subscribe. Bye.